Alleluia on this glorious morning. Alleluia! We made it through Lent. Yes! And now we can celebrate and celebrate we will celebrate we already have been celebrating with Easter egg hunts and cascarones and chocolates and flowers, big brunches and family gatherings, and wearing our Easter best to church. And those are all well and good and lovely and fun. But if that is all we celebrate this Easter, the meaning of Easter can become as hollow as those chocolate bunnies that we might find in our baskets. You know the ones I'm talking about, right? The big ones, they look so promising, right? They got their big foil, big ears, and then we unwrap the foil, and it's like, ooh, this is gonna be exciting. And then we bite into an ear, and there is nothing but a thin shell of chocolate. And then air. And then they break apart, they don't last long. They are so disappointing. <laughs> So the best bunnies, at least for me, are made of solid chocolate. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they last longer, they don't crumble, they have some staying power in the Easter basket. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot be consumed all at once. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> but over time, very important over time, be savored bite by bite. And at Easter, we are invited by our Lord to partake in the solid chocolate bunny through the Easter message of hope. Hope which is sustainable, hope that lasts, hope that can be savored, and hope that can carry us through the most challenging and difficult times. This kind of hope is not a toxic po positivity that's so popular these days. The kind of hope that only works on bad days, but not tragic ones. We need hope to address the tragedy of death-dealing agents in our lives, like hatred and bigotry that erupt into violence, systemic social structures that oppress those on the margins, addictions, grief, new diagnoses, trauma, broken relationships, we need real and sustainable hope to live and survive in this world. Hope that only Jesus can provide. Resurrection hope. Hope, Jim Wallace states, is not just a simply a feeling or a mood or a rhetorical flourish. It is a choice, a decision, an action based on faith. Hope is the energy of transformation. Hope is the door from one reality to another. Hope takes us to a place beyond our own imagining, our own suffering, and promises new, new life and transformation. And for followers of Christ, this transformation happens through the cross, through the death of all things that bring about death in our own lives, so God can do something new. Even in the darkest and most uncomfortable places, we can trust and we can hope that there will be resurrection, there will be new life beyond what we can see ahead for ourselves. Because God is so much bigger than what we can see and understand. God is so much bigger than death. And let's be clear, the resurrection is not reanimation. It's not Jesus being pieced back together like Frankenstein. We all know how that turned out, and it wasn't good. And it's not Jesus coming back to life exactly as he was before. The resurrection is and was a full corporal transformation, a leaving behind of that which brought about the end for Jesus, his destroyed physical body, to his newly transformed life everlasting that conquered death from one reality to another. Our reality in this world to God's reality, God's kingdom, also in this world. And speaking of our reality, it could be said that we know too much about Easter to the point where it can be easily reduced and hollowed out. But think again about the story we just heard 
as if you're hearing it for the first time. Imagine two deeply grieving women, part of an oppressed community, putting themselves in danger to go visit the grave of their murdered friend, seeing the guards who represented the brute force and violence that killed him. And then an earthquake. An angel splits open the sky like lightning and rolls the stone away. The guards literally pass out from fear. The power of God over the power of empire. From one reality to another. Then we hear the message, and I invite you to listen to these words. The first words to the first disciples of the risen Christ. Do not be afraid. He is not here. He is raised, as he said. Jesus is not confined to his mutilated body or the cruelty and betrayal that brought about his gruesome death. No, he is raised, and he is going ahead of his disciples to Galilee. And then the women must go and tell the others right away so they can know. And the women are transformed from grief into fear and joy. Fear is understandable here. And they set off, and they run into Jesus along the way. And he shares the exact same message as the angel. Do not be afraid, and tell my brothers I will see them in Galilee. Now, quick note. At the Last Supper, Jesus promised his disciples that after I have risen, he said, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Galilee, where Jesus lived and moved and taught and loved, where Jesus established his ministry and would now establish a new ministry, a new way of life for his followers. Now, Galilee was at least three days' journey on foot, five if they didn't go through Samaria. And Jesus' disciples were all still in Jerusalem. So Jesus would not be meeting them immediately. They would not get to see him until after they returned to Galilee. While the Easter message surely reached them by way of the first two disciples, they would have to wait a little longer to experience the fullness of the resurrected Christ and the new life they were being called into. And I wonder if some of us can relate to that waiting, waiting for the already but not yet of resurrection in our own lives. Here is where the hope comes in. Christian hope that is not hollow or empty, hope that points us to transformation, Hope in a God who will go before us to bring about new life, new possibilities. Not a reanimation of what is broken. Not a resuscitation of the same saying. But resurrected wholeness and health. To the deepest fears, suffering and despair in our lives and our world. And in ways we could never expect. This hope is not hollow bunny chocolate hope. It is the solid, lasting, sustaining hope that can be savored, that will carry us until we find ourselves with Jesus in Galilee, whatever that might look like for us. And Jesus promised to go before his disciples, and he will go before us. He is going before us now, today, to bring about resurrection in the most distressing places of our lives and our hearts and our worlds. And like the disciples, we may not be in Galilee just yet. We may need to travel a few more days, a few more months, a few more years to glory with the resurrected Christ, to experience transformation from all that is broken or dead within or around us. But we can hold on to the hope that Jesus' disciples first experienced in the resurrection, the hope that has carried Christianity to each of us 2,000 years later. The hope that we celebrate each time we gather at this table. At times, it may feel like our world is on fire, but we are an Easter people. No matter where we find ourselves on the way to Galilee, let us rejoice in the hope that will never disappoint in a Savior who loves us just as we are 
and who has already gone on ahead of us to bring about resurrection into the areas where we need it most. Do not be afraid. Jesus has been raised. Do not be afraid. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.